So today I want to talk about something I have mentioned a few times in my previous video. And that is when you're building your character, I highly recommend that you build your character, including a range character. We have a few characters which are support and range. So there is choices, right? But the main purpose is that bosses in this game as a switching mechanics where they will focus on a target, right? If you're running on melee, right? When they focus on a target, the boss doesn't need to move. And since this game have like physical attacks, attacks are physical. So anyone within the range of the attack can get hit, not just the one they're targeting. This is a actually huge boon for you as a player. Simply put, bosses switch their attack. And if you have a range, the bosses will also switch to the range. This means the bosses will need to traverse to the, to the range, turning its back to you and alleviating the pressure on your melee party members. So this video is just a simple video to demonstrate that mechanic and to demonstrate too that it's actually a huge damage increase right yourself. for you if you have strong characters and a strong range because i'm gonna demonstrate in this with ice poseidon all right so let's get into it all right so we're gonna try to demonstrate the advantage of running a range with your party right and that it is actually a huge advantage for you including offensive and defensive position so as you can see here everyone here is in range right if he was actually faster here everyone would actually be taking damage if you, and if you were fighting two enemy it would actually be a much more difficult situation so we're just gonna take a look and just see his attack pattern and see the situation that we have here, right? If it clumsiness, right? Everyone is in, everyone there. See that? Everyone took damage from that. Simply because he's in, everyone is in range. And hence so I call it meat grinding effect, right? Frankly, it's not that hard to avoid this. You can avoid the situation by simply bringing a, a ranged character with you. And I'm gonna demonstrate this, right? So we take, see that? Lucky, they dodge, but hopefully you guys see what I'm trying to demonstrate here, right? Simply speaking, running all range is not always beneficial. If this fight was against two bosses at the same time, and this and that does occur a lot in this game, right? You have the meta banes, right? That you have to fight. And they both of them are teleported. And if you're running all like melee, that fight becomes tremendously harder. Same thing with Ethan, because Ethan have a ridiculous amount of follow-up. So even when you dodge our trigger, he's it's gonna stop him, but right as he comes out of stop, his animation and his attack is just gonna follow through, and your range can actually take way more damage. Furthermore, since they're all in range at the same time, right, they're gonna burn through their dodge gauge a lot faster, right? It's it's a lot more risky to run on melee. We're gonna continue this in demonstration too. All right, we brought Ice Poseidon for our demonstration. Um, maybe I should not bring her because she's gonna freeze a lot. So, <laughs> but we can take a look. Hey, Sukiyomi, don't kill him too fast. Uh, freeze a little bit too much. All right. See that? She's walking towards her. This is the luring effect because the bosses switch their target. I'm not sure exactly the condition, whether it's their damage that is distributed 
or just sequencing, but the bosses will be lowered because they take turns essentially attacking your each character. Obviously, your player character has the highest like aggro, right? Than every other character. So they're more likely to be attacked than any other party member. So secure me. Let's see, switch to me. If this was a range, right? He he's not focusing on secure me, is he? Right, see that? That's the lowering effect. And this is why you actually want to bring a range with you, right? There's a stark contrast with the all melee that I demonstrate before, right? In which you are constantly doing damage. Characters like Sukiyomi will constantly be able to do damage without them taking the damage simply because of lowering effects. The enemy doesn't pay them an attention or turning their back, alleviating the pressure on these character, right? So for example, I definitely recommend that the character, which you're using as a lore, the range character, should be a support character and that your main damage dealer should be melee. Because when you have characters, he's not much of a teleporter, he tends to walk. And when he's walking towards, right, Poseidon, He's just waiting to get his ass handed to him. L literally speaking, you can literally see it. So Kiyomi literally had free reign to just mow him down. I didn't have to do anything at all, right? This is what you want, especially when you're fighting like the, the meta veins, right? Um, Ethan, Battlefield, right? Pusher Fang is a little more troublesome, but it follows through to almost every character right? Even stationary characters benefit from you actually having one range to lure attacks, right? They might not move, but they will lure the attacks away because the boss is sequencing attacking different, different character. Even if your main character has a higher, like higher level of being targeted, it's still totally beneficial to you to have a range to lure attack and lure the enemy away, open up in the opportunity for your melees to unleash devastating attacks on the enemy. Now, hopefully this has been useful. It's a bit crude, <laughs> but you know, I just had to demonstrate point. If you get the point or understanding what I'm trying to say, and ultimately this is useful, then yeah, the good stuff. Remember, build your parties right. This is not like Hankai or Punishing Grey Raven where you always have one character on the screen, you just switch in between them, right? You you actively have two physical characters who is not your character, which you can utilize and take advantage of benefits they would bring to your field. So definitely take this into consideration. For me, it is one of the biggest boon for me in clearing content, especially earlier in the game when I didn't have my characters built to this degree that they're built right now. But anyways, I'm mumbling on now. I'm gonna get out of here. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.